first thing, how do you create a field? You do that by the greater than sign, which you access by hitting shift period. Once you do that, you are in the field label space automatically. The field label. For every label, you have one or more values that you can enter. And you do that where you see the bullet here. So this is the field value. One thing to make note of is you can have several values for a single field label. Also, it's important to note that even though you will typically see fields being created and entered and added to super tags, that doesn't necessarily mean that's the only or even the majority of places where you, you will use them. You won't see too many people just creating a field like I did here as part of their process. However, one thing that I like to do is I create tables and the way that tables work is each column is a field. Let's you know create an example table. Notice this does not look like a table yet, but if I hit Command K, and go down here, I can change it to view as table. Now, I have a table. This title right here, this title column, that's always included in any table. Automatically, you can't change the name of it. It just means the name of each row that you have. Now, if this were a table on movies, maybe this is then the name of the movie then. Uh, I'm going to enter in information on it. Terminator 2. Okay. What do I want to include about this? Well, maybe I want to have a field of the director for each movie that I enter in here. Now I've just created a field labeled director. And in here, I will add James Cameron. Okay. Maybe there's two directors for a movie. You can have John Smith would also be director there. If you want to add more fields, you just click here to add a column. Columns are fields when you make a table in Tana. So maybe this field would be release date. Okay. And then, yeah, so that was like 1991 or something. All right. So these are some of the high level facts about fields. There are various kinds of fields that will be included in another video. One thing I do want to mention though, is fields are often added to super tags. So let's say I want to create a super tag called director. All right. Now I right click and configure tag and in the template area, that's what this is. I can add fields here using the same shift period shortcut. And I could call this, let's say favorite food, because I'm really, really interested in the favorite foods of my directors. And if we extend it, it'll give us the same horizontal layout that we're familiar with over here. Also notice that when you're working in tables, the fields kind of work vertically. Whereas any other circumstance, you're working horizontally. Label on the left, value on the right. Back to the super tag editing panel. You can click on this icon here and that will open the editing panel for the field. If you have any questions about fields or anything related to fields, please comment below and that'll give me some extra incentive to answer those questions in particular in a future video. Until next time, cheers.